He is honored to stand with you all again tonight and help bring hope and light to the darkness of cancer. If you are a survivor like Todd, please light your white light, uh, lantern, but don't lift it up yet. So if you're a survivor, go ahead and light your white lantern. Mine don't light. We now invite all survivors. <laughs> I got a defunct one. Isn't that fair? Oh well. To walk towards the center of our community into our survival circle right here in the middle. And this is presented by Pharmacyclix and Jensen. I got a defunct one. Survivors are making the way to the circle here in the middle. <laughs> that figures just so I, I want to tell you right? about a few of them. Please, if you're a survivor, make your way to the circle in the middle. Kenneth Bay Mee is here tonight celebrating 15 years of survivorship from acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He wishes to send a special thank you to his unrelated bone marrow donor, Fiona, in Australia. Morgan Lerdahl was diagnosed with stage four gray zone lymphoma when she was 24 years old. She has now been in remission for three years. She helps I can beat AML, but I can't freaking handle that. That helps save her life. She hopes the funds here raised Sorry, tonight to can help bring an end to cancer. Right on, you gotcha. <laughs> Nicholas Chase is here tonight, <laughs> celebrating his fight against chronic right. myeloid leukemia. He is yeah. completely awestruck what a family. and touched by being surrounded by so many inspiring survivors. And thanks all of you here <laughs> for your contribution to fight to end cancer. Krista Moore is a stage three Hodgkin's lymphoma survivor. She loves being part of a community whose purpose is to end blood cancer. It gives her so much hope. She is thankful to stand here with you all tonight and help in this fight against cancer. <laughs> Becky Knoll was diagnosed with stage three multiple myeloma in September of 2016 at the age of 38. Becky fought to be here for her four children and is living proof that we should never give up. She's confident for a cure, thanks to all the research funded by LLS. Not only is she walking as a survivor, but light the night in memory of her dear friend Mark, who lost his battle, but truly won at life. Hazel Crowfoot is five years old and is currently receiving treatment for high-risk acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Hazel said, I want to light the night because I'm a warrior and I have a light to share. Amen. Woo! Is this Hazel? Hazel, will you uh, step to the middle so we can all see you? This is Hazel. As we look towards the center of our Light the Night community and the circle survivors with Hazel right in the middle, we see strength, determination, and courage. We see the people we are all fighting for. Survivors, are you ready? Seven years old age, you must lift. Seven years old. Lift your lanterns high. Never free, never me. Woo! 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 Yeah! Together you create a radiant light, right breaking through the darkness of cancer. A light in research and hope and possibility. A light that goes beyond one lantern, one person, one community. And because beating cancer is in our blood, the light we create together will someday lead us down the path to our ultimate goal, the end of cancer. Survivors, keep those lanterns raised while we introduce you to Fritz and the members of the BMC team.
Come on up, BMC, right here in the front. We're certainly in this together. It's more than a slogan for BMC. BMC really believes that our community, part of this community is giving back. BMC decided a few years ago that LLS was a program they wanted to help. They saw a need and they went to work every year, not only to raise funds, but awareness. At BNC, they light the night because they are all to get all because they are all in this together, and they stand for that. If you have a red lantern and want to see the end of cancer like Fritz at BMC, please light it now. <laughs> Gold and red lantern holders. Now, raise your lanterns high to join our survivors. Our entire community, thousands strong, light the night to show our passion, our love, and our commitment to turn every cancer diagnosis into a story of survival. Look around you. See the power, not only of your lantern, but thousands of them working together to create change in our world. This is why we're here. This is why we light the night. Oh, there she is. She's one. Utah, are you ready to light the night? <laughs> okay then, let's count down five. Yeah, I remember. Four. Still here. Three. Two. two, two, two one.